Today we are learning how to chest a ball with direction. What's going on, Little Doubt? It's Emily Grant, former pro, current college coach, and coach with Online Soccer Academy. Chesting a ball with direction is an advanced technique. If you don't know how to control a ball on your chest yet, I suggest you watch our OSA video titled How to Chest a Soccer Ball here. It will cover the basic key points of how to chest a ball. Key points, key point one. Point your chest in the direction you want the ball to go. If you want the ball to go straight, keep your chest facing straight in the direction the ball is coming from. If you want to trap the ball right, point your chest right at an angle. Same applies for your left. When you turn, just be careful not to overturn your chest. You don't want your upper bicep all of a sudden facing straight at the ball. For starters, there's no such thing as an upper bicep touch. Plus, that's a handball by most ref standards, no matter how blind they are. Kidding refs, you know I appreciate you. Key point two, turn your chest as the ball is about to hit you. Don't turn your chest too early. One, you will look goofy. Two, the ball could change course for some reason. Maybe it's windy or the ball has spin. If you're just standing there like you're waiting for a bus with your chest turned and the ball changes course, it won't be good. This is how it looks when you time your chest turn correctly. Key point three, slightly lean back or forward. Depending how you want to take your touch depends if you want to lean slightly back or slightly forward. To control the ball and start dribbling right away, slightly lean forward when you turn your chest as the ball is about to hit you. This causes the ball to go towards the ground. To control the ball for a volley, slightly lean back when you turn your chest as the ball is about to hit you. This causes the ball to go up a bit and it will give you more time to set your feet in a volley stance. When you're Alex Morgan style advanced, you don't need to slightly pop the ball up for a volley touch. It's because your feet are so quick and your headband is so perfect that you can touch the ball down like you would for a dribble touch. Start out popping the ball up for volley touches, and then as you get better, you can direct your touches down for your volley touches. This is more advanced. Key point four, mentally tell the ball where to go. Don't be surprised when you take that perfect touch to set yourself up like a pro. Expect to take a perfect touch because in your mind, you told the ball what to do. If you practice hard to improve, you have every right to be confident and not be shocked when things work out. Two exercises to practice with your partner. You will need a ball and four cones. First exercise, have your partner toss you the ball, control it to your right side, and out of the air, volley it back with the inside of your foot. Then do your left. Repeat for one minute and switch. Go for two sets. For this exercise, your touch should be directional to the side and slightly up. Second exercise. Have your partner toss you the ball, control it to your right side, and dribble the ball to the cone quickly. Then pass it back and jog back to your start cone. Then do your left. Repeat for one minute and switch. Go for two sets. For this exercise, your touch should be directional to the side and slightly down. What's wrong? If your touch isn't going in the direction you want, then you are probably turning your chest too late. Don't have the ball hit you and then turn your chest. You want to start turning your chest right before the ball hits you. Bonus tip, take your touch away from the defender. In a game, if you see a defender coming on your left, control the ball to your right. Now your touch is away from the oncoming defender. By doing this, what do you create? Space and time. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy video. Click here to watch our incredibly helpful 200 plus free videos. Go here if you want to believe in it shirt and go here if you're a coach and want to host an OSA soccer camp. My name is Emily Grant and remember if you believe in it and back that up with hard work anything in life is possible. Believe in it! <laughs>